Hello, welcome back to Fake It To Make It or Hi If You're New, I'm Katie and today I have a little haul, some things that I have picked up over the last couple weeks. I do have some other stuff coming. I have my Happy Planner order and I'm trying to think, one or two other things coming. I'm not quite sure when they're going to be here though. One is a subscription box, a Jane's Agenda. The other is a small shop sticker order, but it's not here and that's okay. I, you know, I'll always do another one. So let's get into it. So I have a smattering of things, some um, small shop stuff, bigger shop stuff, something from Amazon right here. This is something I got off Amazon. I haven't even looked at this yet. Um, it is this deco set. It was a hundred, let me see, 120 piece vintage flower title book is what it said. I don't know. But there are these like washy kind of tape style um, deco stickers. And I just thought they'd be so cute in my planner or like in a junk journal situation. That one's stuck on the these look like old vintage books, if you can kind of see that. How cute. I just thought this was so pretty. The blue bird, you can kind of see that. I just thought these were really cute. They're just like different. They're all very vintagey, but like some, this one has like a kind of like a purpley indigo English garnet. And there's like some with a little more like wine colored hue, but they're. I think in the description it was like washi tape style sticker. So very like a thin paper sticker. They're called deco stickers. And I think this this came in this three pack. I didn't make three separate orders. So I think this all came together. If I am not mistaken. Sorry, I'm trying to get this back in here. Which always the problem pulling stuff out of these bags it's like when you were a kid and you get like a sleeping bag if you ever went camping and you would like get it out and unroll it and then you'd go to put it back in the bag and it never would go back in right the same way do you guys remember that did you ever have that problem just me let me know down below and then these like pretty like botanical floral style there's like all these different kind of floral ones and they're just like delicate and pretty and you can see they're kind of transparent so I just thought this would be fun to like I said for like some junk journaling um and they're just all different like florals botanicals so pretty so that was this one and what is in here 40 pieces 20 designs 40 pieces so two of each design the book the book was the same way so 40 stickers in here, 20 designs. I can't remember how much this was. I want to say it was under $12.99. And I don't know why, if it was if it was $12.99 or it was less than $12.99. I'm sorry, I should have written it down. And I don't know why $12.99 is sticking out in my mind. Like I said, I got these off Amazon. And then these are... I don't know, it just says deco stickers. I don't know what else it says. Oh, that's kind of cute. This looks like oranges. Oh, fun, these look like little pieces cut from a book, but with like the botanicals. Oh, the shamrock, the green immortal shamrock. shamrock. Chosen leaf of bard and chief. Old Aaron's native shamrock. It's kind of cute. I like that. Let's see. So pretty. It's like little illustrations from books. What else is in here? So pretty. I really like this one. Yeah, this is cute. And then these have just like oh, cinema theater. This one has like kind of goldfish. What else? Another little snippet from like a book or a poem. Very cute. So definitely like these. These will be fun. Just something a little bit different. Um, like perfect for layering. And just making, making something a little unique. So I picked those up. Um, next up, I have something from Alicia Michelle. Hold on, sorry. I'm just making sure I get the postcard out of there. 
Okay, AMXO. This is my third order from her this fall. She just has the cutest stickers, and honestly, I can't help it. I mean, do you see this? Like, even look at this little picture right here. Something wicked this way comes. Like, she even, there's like two little tiny black cats in writing. Are you kidding me? And just like, this is like the brain. Like, the detail on here is so cute. I love this. I loved it so much, I had to get two. This is Spooky Shelves. So cute. I got these, like, really pretty neutral pumpkins. I love the colors on this, the orange and the pinks. A muck, a muck, a muck. I smell children. Hocus pocus. Boo you. Smell my feet. Witch please. Trick or treat. And then, of course, all the bats. Oh, hey, boo. And then Spooky Babe. These like fun bats with the stars in them. Love it. Oh, this is Bat Circles. This is Spooky Babe. And then Ghouls Just Want to Have Fun. 100% That Witch. Bad Witch Vibes. Boo. Less Bitchin', More Witchin'. And this is Bad Witch. And again, like that fun color palette. I don't know. I just think it's so fun. And then these to go with the neutral pumpkins. It's a little skeleton making the heart. Meow. Boo. Little ghosts, batshit crazy, resting witch face, creeping it real, little spider, a little skeleton peace sign, and some skeletons dancing, and this is called Nude Bones. Her, she just literally has the cutest stickers. This is the same shop, if you don't know, that I got um, um, some of my Harry Potter stickers that I did a spread for back to Hogwarts Day. So, next... Is a little something from Chrissy and Designs. Again, I'm just trying to make sure there's no code. I don't think there's a code. Okay. Oh, but there is a receipt. Let me pull the receipt out of this bag real quick because that probably has my address on it. We don't need that all over the internet. So these were what I ordered from Chrissy and Design. I recently ordered some stencils from her and then I don't remember where I saw these stickers, but I thought they were funny. They just say sh 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 shit show. I can't even say that. Say that five times fast. I can't. I don't know. I just thought it was humorous. So I grabbed those. These work stickers, just plain black and white. Her stickers too, like they almost feel like, like a vinyl sticker. Like they're thick. And I don't know if I've purchased her stickers before. Um, Boo Crew, have a ghoulishly great Halloween. Eat, drink, and be scary. All dressed up with somewhere to go. Let's do the Monster Mash Little Pumpkin Spooktacular. Trick or treat, have a spooky day. Tis the season to be spooky. Eek. Something wicked, just say boo. I put a spell on you. Too cute to spook. Ghouls just want to have fun. Got candy and ghosts, goblins, and ghouls. Oh my. Sorry, if you don't know my haul videos... They're slow moving. We look at everything. I have some pens to test because that's just how we roll. And then this is the Chrissy and Designs and Katie K Plans stencil. Let me put it on here so you can see a little bit better. Um, sorry, this is the AMXO packaging, but I just wanted something. I feel like you can see it a little bit better on there. Um, but this is... The, um, her stencil, there's some little square boxes, some circles, some flags, little headers, lines, of course, dotted line, and then you have some other little icons up there, circle, square, little flag, and uh, like a quote box. And then it is punched, I think, for a ring binder, which I don't use, but I don't mind that it's on there, honestly, because I think now I have a few stencils from her. I could get a little ring to hold them together, but... Yeah, so I'm excited to use that. So that was from Chrissy and Designs. And then next, I have stuff from Archer and Olive. So, I'm dropping things. I don't, this poor little box, it came in a um, manila envelope, and I don't know what the the male people did with it. They just like, I don't know, tossed it around. Um, so this is a set of four washi. I was trying to see if there was a name because I can't remember. This was with the fall collection. I do know that. So 
oh my gosh, so pretty. Do you see this? It has like pink and mustard and orange and then that gold foil on kind of a brown background. So pretty. And then this one, this one is so cute. It's books and little candles and florals and has like some gold, gold foiling of the stars. Just really cute as well. Next is this Hello with this like old fashioned telephone. It's so cute. Again, has some gold foiling. I love the font on that Hello, but just beautiful fall colors because it's this dusty pink with mustard and kind of a, a rusty maroon color. So cute. And then last but not least is this gray washi with gold foiled florals. And it's almost like a brass, the foiling on here. I'm trying to get this to pick up. I don't, there we go. There we go. Get the light there. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, almost like a brass, a brassy kind of a gold. Very pretty. Like these leaves. So pretty. So that was a little, little pack of four. We'll put it back in this little, this poor little mushy box. But I'm, I don't remember the name of what this washi was. And my daughter actually opened this package and I don't have the insert to tell you. So next are these, um, is it Pipa Art? I don't know, that holographic is like messing my eyes up, acrylograph. So let's test these. Let me pull that sheet off. I have, I have more after this too, but let's test this. I think these were on sale. If I am not mistaken, let me grab a drink of water before we start. This is your your break. Everyone have a drink. I'm drinking water because I had two cups of coffee today. Look at these colors. So these are the 0.7 mm tip. I think I talked before about, um, I have been, let me bring you in. I have been kind of drawing a little bit, doodling a little bit, um, just kind of for fun. I think I've only shared it maybe one or two times. It's just really something like for me for fun. Um, so this is like a pretty, can you even see that? Let me bring you down here. Like a pretty peach color. And there are, are there two ends? Oh no, these are just single ended. A lot of times the acrylographs I believe are dual ended, which is fine honestly, because I usually only end up using the one end anyway and then these were a 0.7 I, yep 0.7 um need to have to start this up how has everybody's week been going let me know down below I started my new job this week so I'm just doing um orientation via zoom so I'm working from home this week and next week which honestly I really like I mean my old job I sort of work from home I had to do charting from home but it was just a little bit different because I still had to leave and um, go see patients, which I mean, eventually I'll have to do that. This is just because I'm in an orientation period now, but I really enjoy working from home. It's so nice. I'm able to get like a couple things done around the house. Not when I'm like when I'm working, I'm on like I'm actually working. I'm on Zoom camera on. But, like, we take a little 10 or 15 minute coffee break in the morning. We have a good hour lunch and then, like, maybe another little break. And it's kind of nice because, one, I don't have the commute. So, I gain that time back, right, of at least an hour a day. Plus, I don't take an hour to eat lunch. Um, so, and I can, like, snack at my desk if I want, um, so it's kind of nice. So like I can, you know, the other day I threw some laundry in and was able to get some, some dishes done and I vacuumed a little. So it's kind of nice because 
that's stuff that I normally wouldn't do because by the time I get home and do all the things, like I'm just done. I'm tired. This one is taking a long time. Let me pop a lid off of here because otherwise I feel like we're going to be here a very long time. I don't know if there's like this is like a little malfunction here because the other ones did not take that long. Do you see? You can kind of see it. Mm. It's starting to come down, but I feel like the other ones went way quicker. Is it just me? I don't think so. Yeah, see, like, this one is already pretty. It's like a, a purple with, a, like, a gray undertone. Almost like a, a deep lilac. Okay, here we go. I don't know why that took a little long. That one's like a pretty kind of corally pink. And then this one will probably be my favorite. This is anything that's like blue, blue, green is my favorite color. Turquoise, teal, peacock blue, aqua, any of those colors. I think it's because it just reminds me of the water and that for sure is my happy place. So let's see. And then I have one more set of pens and then something else to flip through. So, um, like I said, I also have a happy planner order coming. A Jane's Agenda sub box that should be coming. And at least one more sticker order from a small shop. But I feel like I'm forgetting something, which is literally ridiculous, but also very true. There we go pretty color. So that is what this is. That's that collection. And then put these in this box so I know that these are the pens that, that go in here. So we'll set that off to the side. And then I have these Vintage Dream Acrylographs. They are 0 0.7. This, I believe, was the, a fall collection item. Um, but now, oh, you can kind of get a sneak of the colors. But now instead of coming in those big boxes, they come in these. And I honestly, I kind of like it because this is a little bit more compact for storage because I like to keep my acrylographs in the package they came in just because they they get stored so nicely. So this is how they're stored now. It's in this little box. Sorry, I brought the camera so close so you could see. Ooh, look at those colors. Such fun fall colors. So let us get started. Maybe I should start like two at a time. I'm gonna get confused, aren't I? Do these have, oh, and now it has the color, pewter blue. I don't think the other ones did. I didn't look, but I don't believe that they did. Maybe we will do two at a time just so we can get through this, but I want you guys to see the colors if, if you're at all interested. And I think there was another set too, because I think these were new for fall. So what did I say this was? Pewter blue. That's a really pretty blue. And then this is Midnight. Sapphire. Both really, oh, those are so pretty. I think I'm really going to like this. Let's see here. I've got a couple of these. What is this one? Oh, Melon Rouge. Get it? Melon Rouge. Melon Rouge. Oh, my word. I love a good pun, though. You just can't help it. And what's this other one called? Golden Spice. Yeah, anyway, so let me know if you work outside the home. Well, I guess I was just going to say, if you work outside the home but work from home, that makes little to no sense. If you... Oh. Sorry, I got like totally sidetracked by this color. If you, um, 
how am I trying to say this? Basically, if, if you're not a stay-at-home mom, if you have a job besides being a mom, because trust me, I know stay-at-home moms work. Usually I just say, you know, um, work outside the home. But in this case, if you work from home for someone else, what do you think of it? Do you enjoy working from home? Do you, have you always worked from home? Did you used to be in an in, in office? Was it like a pandemic kind of a decision? I'm very curious. So let me know your thoughts down below. Do you feel like you're as productive or less productive? That's my other question. Cause I know that it's like controversy between like what employees and what employers think, right? I know some employers are pretty flexible and are like, oh, this is great. Like people are productive. We're getting all this stuff, you know, they get all this stuff done. We could get rid of an office. We don't have as much overhead, right? Like all these things. And then some employers are basically like, no, we want you to like be in the office. So I'm just curious what everyone's, what everyone's opinion is on that. Um, I really have really enjoyed it. So, okay, this color is Weathered Rose. Oh, pretty. Pretty, like, mauve color. This is a Fire Brick. Both are very pretty. That was there. Look at those colors. These are like kind of like fire colors for fall. In my opinion, my very humble opinion. Let's test these out. We'll do two at a time. Oh my goodness. I always thought that um, it would be nice to work from home. I didn't know that I would like it so much. Now I'm like, oh, I wish I could do this all the time, which I won't. Once my orientation is done, I won't be. Pink satin. Oh, that kind of reminds me of like almost like a little bit deeper um, ballet slipper color because it's like a pinky brown. It's like the like if this was a lipstick, it'd be a pretty good neutral lipstick. I'm just saying. I love lipstick and makeup. Anybody else? Although I found as I've gotten older, I less is more, right? If I'm wearing like full foundation, I just feel like it ages me. I don't know. It's just if maybe I'm not using the right kind, if it's the way it settles. Honestly, like a BB or CC cream with some concealer in my problem areas. This is called Rome. Um, and like blush, bronzer, whatever, like any of that stuff, but the base needs to be pretty simple. Oh my gosh, look at that mustardy color. Do you see that? I can tell I'm, I'm filming this late at night and I can tell that I'm starting to get very sleepy because my voice is getting froggy. Um, and I can feel my eyes getting heavier and heavier, but I wanted to get this, to get this filmed. I haven't, um, today was kind of a, a busy day. Um, between work and then I turned some stuff in from my, my old job because I was gone all weekend so I couldn't do it until um, today. So I had to drive out there and do that and then um, Shelby and I went to Target to get like just a few items and then came home and had dinner and we watched a show we're watching. It's like kind of like a, a young adult show called Never Have I Ever on Netflix. We've been watching that. So we watched two or three episodes of that. So it's a little late, but I didn't have any more videos. So I figured I should probably film something. That is beautiful. I, if I had to pick between the two, I, I'm in love with the fall colors. I mean, they're both gorgeous, but... You guys know, like, I have a, a weird obsession with fall. But I also like this new box situation because I believe you're supposed to store these on their sides or on their side. And you still can in this box. Why is this not wanting to... There we go. It wasn't wanting to cooperate. You can just store them like that. But it takes up... It seems like it just takes up so much less space because the other ones were kind of um, long and 
flat. But, okay, let me move this and grab the next sticker book and I think the final thing. Next, I have the sticker book from Live Love Posh called Whimsical Fall. It's super cute, so we'll do a little flip through here. I don't have an affiliate code or link or anything like that with her, but I know um, Elise, Plan with Elise does, so definitely go check her out. Because I think you can get 10% off, I believe. So I think there's a, um, a coupon code. So cute. I love that there's navy in this. And you have like some fun florals. And the girls. Oh, I like this. I love the bright orange. It's definitely different. It's pretty. With the pumpkins, I love the little planner. Give thanks. I love these colors together, like the orange with the pink and the plum and the brown. Very pretty. Cute. Little menu and a happy Thanksgiving. These are fun. These pastel um, Halloween. I do love traditional Halloween stickers too, but it's nice to change it up once in a while. And I think these are so fun with like the pastel and like the little ghosts that are glowing. I love the Hey Boo. So cute. And you get two pages, so you don't have to hoard. You can use some stickers. Okay, this is the page I really like. Um, the little cobwebs, the bats, and then look at the boxes that are shaped like coffins with like floral and bat wings. Like how cute of an arrangement would that make? Maybe I should like recreate this as a floral arrangement. Really cute. Little spider webs, like right there. Oh. I love it for Halloween and the creepy trees. I'm, in real life, I absolutely hate spiders. They, they freak me out. But in a planner spread, I can do it. Some very pink, pink pumpkins. Little Coco Chanel. Save the Tatas in October where we, we were pink. Oh, I love this for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That's really cool. I like that. I, now I just have to remember that I have this to do a spread with. Do you ever do that? You buy stickers like ahead of time and then you forget. That is 100% me. I need, to, I need to write it in my planner. And then you have like this pretty, oh, look at that little moth, the pink and blue. Does anybody else, okay, if you ever watch Silence of the Lambs, anytime you see a moth now, do you think of Silence of the Lambs? I know, it's like too pretty, but I cannot help it. That's where my mind goes. I like the hay pumpkin mug. It's cute. Very pretty florals. Oh, look at those colors. Those like traditional fall colors, like the browns and like the deep burgundy and the orange and cream. So pretty. I love the flowers and the boot and the books. The little like fall books, magical fall, wizard school. So cute. You have like a little fall office set up. Oops, sorry. These are really pretty. These blues and these oranges. You may see some of these stickers before you see this haul. Um, I'm waiting on a few more things to come. And before I film the complete haul, so I'm filming this part. This is pretty, like, especially as it gets closer to um, December because it's kind of like... Thanksgiving Christmassy vibes. Yeah, but I'm waiting for a few other things for the for the full haul. So you you may see some of these in a spread before you actually see this video. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support as always. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Again, anything that I have affiliate links or discount codes will be down in the description box. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you did so and joined us over here. I hope you are planning your best life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.